Nathan's of New York uh, produces a, uh, a Coney Island dog, nothing. Nothing like the one that I got from Angelo's. Hello, everybody. Hey, it's Steve from the new Steve Henry Show, and I promised you I would go to New York and Michigan. Well, I am standing here in a very balmy morning of Michigan, but I promised you this result. The one and only Coney Island dog. Where in the world can you get it? Is it in New York? Is it in Michigan? After many steps, I've ended up here, right here. This is Angelo's, and this is the place for the Coney Island dog. We're here, they opened up early for us, and they're gonna actually make us a Coney Island dog. The ones that we made uh, last Saturday, uh, we were pretty close, we really were. But uh, this is the real deal. If you're ever in Michigan, or if you ever want a Coney Island dog, the two together go, because this is it, Angelo's. Come on in, we're gonna go ahead and have uh, Chip, one of these best dogs, the Coney Island dog. We're gonna come on, uh, I'm gonna order it for us, we're gonna eat it together, so you can actually uh, enhance and, and and visualize the experience. Okay, so we just got delivered, hand delivered, two of the Coney Island dogs here. And as described, remember we did this, um, this has got that Frankfurter with the casing on it, the uh, the sauce, which is everything, okay? And of course the onion with the drizzle of mustard. Exactly how we did it there uh, at the Steve Henry Show Live just about, uh, just a few days ago. But I'm going to take a bite of this and I, I want you to kind of follow it with me because this is it, this is the one right here and uh, I know it's early in the morning again they opened up for us so cool uh, the people here in Michigan are just awesome so here we go watch this mm. Mm. oh my god mm. Mm. yeah it's a Pony Island dog the steam mm. the steam coming off the sauce the onion the mustard mm. this is it right here um, and you would think it's it's, it's so simple to make. It's kind of soft. It's all in that sauce. You know, that sauce has to be just right. With a little bit of spice and formulation of all the ingredients. But right here, Antelope is the real deal here in Michigan. What's for dinner? You ever get that? What's for dinner? I don't know. What's for dinner? I don't know. We're going to tell you what's for dinner. Hello, everybody. It's Steve Henry from The Steve Henry Show. Back from... Man, what a red eye. I think it was New York and Michigan. And we have a winner. We do. You saw it in the uh, intro. If you missed it in that intro, Michigan took it hands down. There's, there's not even a close call. Uh, New York, I'm sorry, but uh, Michigan hands down. And by the way, there's probably about, well, I don't know, gosh, 40 times the hot dog uh, Coney Island uh, venues there in Michigan. Beautiful place. If you've never been to Michigan, I, I recommend it highly. New York, eh. Hurricane was going up the coast there at the time, a little soggy, but um, I am going to, uh, I was going to open up the show actually doing this and then uh, say, oh, you're here. One, two. You know what I'm doing? I'm, I'm getting this arm ready. This is a, uh, a light curl, but I'm getting my arm ready for something big coming up in about two weeks. That's right. One, two, one, two. All right. I think I'm ready. Uh, I'm getting ready. I'm going to spin this spinner knock it all over i'm going to spin this spinner at 30 miles an hour and i'm going to do it on account of you ladies and gentlemen ones because we are going to be giving away as you all know a beautiful 2014 jeep in two weeks right here live in this uh, exodus auto sales studio but today today we've got some great uh, great things happening um, i just want to mention quickly um Moran is having a nephew uh, days before that drawing. So maybe we ought to name him Jeep? I don't know, something like that. But Miranda, we're gonna acknowledge that nephew of yours two days prior to the drawing. Uh, it's gonna be fun. I wanna give away 100 bucks right off the cuff here. I just gave you the answer to the question I'm gonna give you. In what city and state, or one of the other, doesn't matter, city or state, in what city or state did the contest for the best Coney Island hot dog winner was where, where was it what state city we're gonna get underway here in just a moment I'm gonna light some burners I want that first answer in the comment section that's gonna be a hundred dollars mailed out to you on Monday and uh, we're just gonna have uh, a lot of fun today fondue day, day today fondue fondue is uh, an interesting item it, it comes to us from the ballet vocabulary dipping in dipping in or to dip in is a ballet term where the word fondue originates and so that makes sense we're going to skewer our bread and into a dipping pot do we dip into so dip into 
ballet. That is kind of cool. But anyways, we're going to do fondue today. Uh, fondue uh, comes to us from a lot of different uh, venues. We have a restaurant here. There's about, I think, 50 or 60 of them across the country called The Melting Pot. If you've ever had the experience of dining there, that's a great place. Uh, they have 50 or 60 entrees, and then desserts are awesome there. But today, uh, we're going to serve and prepare a fondue dish, and then we're going to present it, as we always do on this show. First of all, by um, actually uh, preparing it, we're going to start off with our, our ingredients. I put a little olive oil into the skillet here. Just a little drizzle of olive oil. That's going to get hot and um, we're going to get that nice and hot. I want to also show you the labor of love, ladies and gentlemen. The labor of love. This is the first thing that um, makes up, obviously, the artichoke uh, dip and artichoke fondue. By the way, artichoke obviously is one and we're going to have uh, strawberries dipped in chocolate for our dessert today. So we'll have fondue uh, uh, artichoke and we'll have fondue strawberry uh, in, in context. But I want to show you the labor of love, what it takes to actually make a, a dynamite uh, presentation for your artichoke. You take your artichoke and you cook it. Now this possibly does look like what the cat might have caught. Uh, it does look a little rough, and I, I, I agree with that. But it is a pure artichoke, and this is nothing more than pureeing the leaf of the artichoke. You see this labor of love? I mean, this is labor of love. Uh, this is about five artichokes cooked to perfection. You've got to be very careful not to put a string in there. Nothing worse than um, biting down to a string. It's like when you're eating a uh, burrito or something, and you bite into something hard. Uh, it's undiscovered. You can't see it. And... Next thing you know, you're biting into something uh, you don't want to bite into, a piece of gristle or something. So the string of this artichoke leaf, very, very careful that you do not, that's some got a little scab there, uh, that you do not uh, ruin it by putting a string in there. So it's just a little bit of a labor of love. This is nothing more than pure artichoke leaf and heart. The leaf and the heart, it's pure, 100%. There is nothing more added to this, and we call this artichoke paste. This will be the base in which we use our artichoke uh, dip for. Now, again, it does look a little rough. It's green in color. Nothing green this color uh, is uh, really eye-appealing. However, you can imagine the flavor in this. This is nothing more than what we just showed you, the leaf of the artichoke and the heart kind of just mixed together uh, very gently. No seasoning in it yet. So, again, that is going to start off and become our our base for our um, artichoke. I'm gonna cook both of these up. We're gonna show you how to do it and then we're gonna present it in a way, again, for that wow effect. Uh, I got a scratch and it's another $100 bill I wanna give away. Uh, I wanna go through the ingredients first, because that's, that's important. We're gonna have the artichoke paste, which I mentioned, chopped pine nuts. We also have, uh, we also have the uh, scallions, the minced garlic, and the pesto. And we're gonna uh, douse it with a little bit of wine. We're gonna stop uh, with a little bit of wine on there. I got a little chocolate or something? I do. A little bit. That's okay. All right. So we have our uh, our hot olive oil. We're going to put in a little bit of uh, garlic. A little bit of garlic. Pan sear that little garlic in there. Yeah, let's get that off to a little towel perhaps. I don't know how bad that's going to be. Um, so we have our garlic. We have our little chopped scallions. Minced garlic. Chopped scallions. And uh, our nuts. A little pesto. Got to have a little pesto. So... We're gonna let that brown a little bit. Yes, thank you for that. We might have a little chocolate burn there. Let's just take that off. All right, there we go. Get that cleaned off a little bit there. Okay, so, and as we go. All right, so we are literally gonna saute this up. And what we have here again is the scallions and the garlic and a little bit of olive oil. And that's gonna start, oh, looking good there, looking good. I think it's just gonna slide like a slippery slide. We're gonna add some paste. That's that paste we talked about. I'm gonna go ahead and add the whole thing. It's gonna be uh, amazing. Uh, you have the equivalent here of about five and a half artichokes, as I mentioned. Um, it's looking a little like, wow, how is that all gonna come together, Steve? Well, we got the scallions, the garlic, the olive oil, paste. We're just gonna heat this up a little bit. And then we're gonna put in the magic ingredient, um, the cream, and then the cheese. The cheese is a Swiss cheese. Uh, most fondues are used with white cheese. Uh, Swiss is one that's very popular, and we're gonna use it to uh, today's presentation. Uh, Swiss cheese and the uh, Chardonnay. Uh, so, a uh, hundred bucks. Let's go a hundred bucks. I just said it. What kind of cheese do we use? I don't want white cheese. I want the specific cheese. What kind of cheese do we use in the fondue in order to make it a cheesy? We also have the secret seasonings. I'm going to reveal what that is when the time comes in the cookbook. Uh, it's still a secret. We're going to put some uh, roasted pine nuts in here. Now, again, a lot of people they, uh, bite down on an artichoke dip and say, ooh, what was that? Well, we're going to put the, the uh, roasted pine nuts. That's, that's just good for flavor. All right, so our paste is cooking. 
just getting married together ever so gently with our green onions and our garlic. And now we're going to add some heavy cream. The heavy cream is going to give it its base, obviously. So the heavy cream goes in. We're going to put salt and pepper, a little pepper grinder here. Get caught up in the glove. A little pepper and a little of this pink salt. Oh, yeah. And that's coming together quite nicely. We're going to keep it into a paste mode. We're going to thin it out because it has, it does have to be a fondue. So we're thinning it out. Again, it looks a little rough with this uh, uh, artichoke look. Um, it's not pretty um, when you call it uh, anything green. But again, there's that cheese in there. And uh, we'll top it off with a little Chardonnay. I just gave you the answer. Do we have anybody with the answer to the cheese question? We have a winner, another winner. That's great. And uh, we'll be announcing these winners as we go forward here. Um, we have an intermission session. I don't want you to leave during intermission. Or go out and have a cigarette because during intermission now, we're going to give you the winner and uh, show you some neat stuff there. All right, so this has got the heavy cream going in. Oh, that's looking beautiful. We're also now going to start with the Chardonnay. Chardonnay goes in. And there we go. So you've got a rendition here of every, got every ingredient in here at this moment. And we're just going to put this together. And we're going to leave it. And then we're going to go to our chocolate. Ah, the chocolate dipped strawberries. You haven't lived until you've a chocolate dipped strawberry like you're going to see made today. Absolutely amazing, folks. Get that, yeah, that sign's got to go. YouTube, we love you, but we like you. That's all there is to it. You got to go, YouTube. Our platform. By the way, uh, I want to call your attention to uh, last week I was telling you how um, awesome you guys are, and uh, you are awesome. We are very close to reaching a milestone here at the Steve Henry Show. Uh, 4,000 hours watched is a, uh, is a huge benchmark for anybody in the YouTube business uh, starting out, and so we are uh, very close to that. If you scroll your camera right over there, you'll see right there uh, the YouTube watch. That's uh, fascinating. Um, to put that into context, 4,000 watched hours of your video is 100 consecutive days of 24-7. That's what somebody has to watch or a compilation of people have to watch in a 12-month period in order to be a YouTube partner. Isn't that amazing? Let me, let me rephrase that. 166 consecutive 24-7 days. It's incredible. We're just adding cream now and we're just adding a little more wine. Ooh, gotta love that wine all right so that's getting to the consistency we want now folks that is to a point where you can dip that as a fondue oh it's looking good and let me tell you uh, I can just imagine what this is gonna taste like so again uh, the artichoke paste I'm gonna turn that off we're gonna come back to that and revisit that because we are going to now uh, make our chocolate I'll just uh, I was gonna switch skillets but we'll do that we'll just switch skillets instead of burners here looks like we got a little chocolate fire there a little chocolate melt Okay, so in recap, the fondue, we started with a little bit of olive oil. We uh, enhanced that with some of the artichoke paste, the pine nuts, the scallions, the garlic, and the pesto, the magic seasoning sauce and seasonings that we put together. Uh, amazing. This now is going to be our chocolate sauce that's going to go into uh, our chocolate dip strawberries combination. And wait till you see how we present this. You don't want to miss that. You want to stick around. So right now, it's the preparation. Once again, this is an amazing rendition here of artichoke. Oh, it's just turned out beautiful. We can deliver. Yes, we have. A we have actually, we're going to have a to-go window. But, uh, COVID came uh, for our car payments and took that all away. They took it all away. All right. So the chocolate is melting. Now this is chocolate. Uh, I went to a chocolate store. If you put your camera right there, it's Belgium chocolate melted. And we're going to melt this down. And it, it comes with, uh, gosh, if you love Grand Marnier. Grand Marnier. There's the bottle. Thank you for showing that. That is a combination of cognac and uh, uh, orange liqueur. Uh, now, some people like strawberry. Some people like the nutty flavor of champagne. Uh, there's a lot of different liqueurs that you could actually enhance this chocolate with. Uh, but for the time of this sake, we're going to put and flambe. If we get a little fire there, woo we're going to get a little fire. Normally, I'd put some cinnamon and we have some sparks going here, but we have a low ceiling here. And the last time I did this, yeah, we, we set off the fire alarms. So we're going to keep this kind of under, under wraps. We're going to put a little cream in this too. Little cream helps, and what the cream will do for us here is just basically make it a little smoother and uh, bring out a little bit of uh, a thinness to it uh, instead of adding something like uh, you know water or something like that. But you do want this to be somewhat uh, you know uh, thin because the, the strawberry will have to uh, 
come off it. Now that might look a little, how are you gonna get that back to that color? We use a dark chocolate. That Belgium chocolate that we're using is a dark chocolate. And so it'll be able to mix very easily into uh, our container with the cream. But uh, you wanna make sure you thin that out. You can thin it out. A lot of people like to use uh, uh, water. I, I certainly don't because obviously it just dilutes the actual experiment and the flavor and so that Grand Manier goes in there like that and the cream and we'll just thin that out look at how thick that is right now we will get this to the point where it's going to be ultra thin and dippable uh, on top of your strawberry uh, yeah, we marked the box not suitable for children uh, this Grand Manier probably presents a problem for that uh, there is a lot of Grand Manier in this and so uh, having a good time with the strawberries that could be one reason why because it's laced with Grand Marnier or your favorite liqueur and again you can use several different ones in order to um, present that so this is getting to the point where we like it um, we'll add probably a little bit more cream as we go uh, I'm gonna give away a skillet set right now um, you cannot have a lot of fun with this cookbook without a skillet and it's set now I, got, I sent one out here I sent two out last week uh, where's our propane well I can't send propane folks um, there is a little problem with postal service when it comes to sending full of product so um, again we're a little bit more cream you can never enough. and that Grand Marnier Oh my goodness gracious, those are going to be some very good strawberries when it comes to drinking them, or shall I say eating them. Okay, so you get the gist. This is our chocolate sauce, uh, almost to the point of a perfect dipping consistency. We have our fondue sitting by. When we come back from break, after a couple more giveaways, we will put this into the presentation mode, and that is what we call our wow mode, if you're not familiar with the show here. We prepare the ingredients, we cook the and prepare the food for you, uh, or whatever our entree choice of the week is, and then we present it. And it, that hopefully on that presentation portion of it, it's wow. When you carry that tray or that plate or whatever it is that we prepared in a presentation style to the table uh, in which you're serving it, whether you're having your boss over and you want to really, you know, you're looking for something big happen, or um, just you have the, the family meeting or a, uh, a special occasion at the house, this is that wow effect. And it's just a little bit more. It's not that much, but it's what you learn here at the Steve Henry Show. Hundred bucks, let's go. We have another question. I'm gonna look at my board. Um, serving alongside the Coney Island hot dog. Now last week, we had the Coney Island dog, of course, that was a big winner, but we served something alongside it. For hundred bucks, I wanna know what we served with it. And uh, it went right in the steam table or to my little hot dog card. If you didn't catch that homemade hot dog card, that was really cool. Talk about wow. Uh, sitting next to the hot dogs and the buns that were steaming was the accompaniment of that hot dog platter. What was that item? that accompanied it wasn't potato chips jack come on no phil it wasn't it wasn't fresh fruit but it was something else what was it for a hundred bucks the person that puts that in the comment section for the first time and is first will get a hundred bucks sent out also i'm going to do a skillet set as i mentioned i got a warehouse full of these things i want to give uh one of these away it's the skillet set it's the actual skillet the burner itself everything but the propane and i, I need a question answered on that one and uh man french fries good who was that Rena Torres, very good, very, very good. Um, uh, all right, this question I was gonna do first, but uh, I want, well, you know what? I've got a bunch of them. What, that's just, I love the chocolate. Is that chocolate right there? What country, what country did that chocolate originate from that we're using in our chocolate dipped strawberries today? First person, 100 bucks. There's another 100 bucks going out on the, on the table. I was gonna do the burner set, but let's give, a, let's give the burner set away. I'm gonna give the burner set away to the first person who tells me what time this show starts, mountain time simple deal come on folks that's an easy one the burner set goes to somebody who says what time this show starts mountain time the steve henry show which is growing by leaps and bounds thanks to you loved ones keep them coming we are just growing and growing and growing and we want this to be a uh, community effect but basically if i win you win and so the more uh, we get the more i'm going to get and that's all it's about. We're, that's what we do here is a give. We have a lot of fun. We show you about a little cooking, but you know, it's, it's a lot of fun to win a little money too. Um, it's just a ball. We're going to go to break here in about 30 seconds, but I wanted to call your attention to, once again, the artichoke dip fondue and the chocolate dip fondue. When we come back, we're going to present this, uh, take it out of the skillet and put it into a presentation mode. That's going to give everybody that wow effect. We'll be back right after this. 
you know, did you know in two weeks, we are gonna spin, that's right, spin for this Jeep. And I am slowly doing the old arm curls there on that 17 pound weight. Get ready to spin this baby 30 miles an hour because your name could and should be in there. And if it's not, you better get it in there. How do you get it in there? You subscribe to the show and hit the bell and like the show. That's all you gotta do. Uh, if you're not sure, put it in the comments this Saturday. Steve, am I in there? And I will personally get back to you and let you know that your name is in there. We're gonna start announcing the winners every week in our intermission series. You don't wanna miss the intermission. It's gonna scroll very slowly, but we'll introduce to you the six winners of the week prior to that won the $100 and perhaps even a skillet set. So you don't wanna miss the intermission. But nonetheless, this beautiful Jeep, 2014 model, 93,000 miles, could end up in your driveway. That's right, it very well could end up in your driveway. On the 31st of July, we're gonna spin that Saturday live in the studio. You don't wanna miss it. You wanna make sure your name gets put in there as soon as possible. And again, if you're not sure, contact me. Uh, Steve at the Steve Henry Show at gmail.com is a good way. The comments there at the uh, YouTube channel. However you wanna do it, if you're not sure, let's be sure, because your name needs to be in there if you're gonna win this beautiful Jeep. It'll be the third one on record that we give away, and I can't wait to deliver it right to your door. for dinner. And we are back. Thanks for hanging in there. Intermission is going to be, like I said, we got to get ourselves ready for that presentation mode. Bear with us. It's no more probably three or four minutes, but uh, we have to get it ready. Have uh, a lot of winners. We're going to post, as we said, permission week. So uh, we and we try to three or four times. Judges watching. I heard somebody about slow internet. Yeah, that's a handicap. Sure. I don't know how we do that. Uh, maybe we'll give you a handicap because, my gosh, uh, everybody deserves a chance to win. And I want everybody to win. What I could do for one person, I wish I could do for everybody. And that I mean. And that's going to be the Jeep. This Jeep, this will be our third giveaway uh, since this show actually started. I've given away many cars over the years, but this will be our third giveaway. They're all Jeep Patriots. Why? Well, I buy a lot of them at the car dealership. I buy probably five to seven a week, and they've never steered me wrong. Um, the single mom loves them, put the kids in there. They're safe, four-cylinder, automatic. Um, I've never had to put a motor or a tranny in one. I've, I've had to do a few things here and there, but nothing serious. And I have bought hundreds of these, and I've seen them with 300,000 miles, and they're still driving strong. So it is the, the choice of, of uh, choices that we make for the vehicle, for the family. It, I really want it to go, I hope, to a needy family, but that, that fate is up to God, and uh, he brings to us a winner but here again that's the spinner and uh i had my dumbbell i'm gonna be ready i'll be ready in two weeks to spin that baby and pull out a name live here on the show 
Oh, am I? Uh-oh, cutting in and out on the volume. Well, I'm not sure why. I'll stay in one place because I bounce around a lot. But here's the presentation, folks. Here is the presentation. We have our skewers. This is our poker stick. If you'll notice, everything that we do presentation-wise is edible, except for maybe the stick. But nonetheless, the artichoke, you see how that's stuffed in there? That is stuffed with our uh, fondue and our artichoke dip. You can do this two different ways, and I'm going to show you how real quick. The bottom line is, you take your skewer and you just skewer your bread. Uh, again, we use that um, ballet, which is the dipping uh, formation or the dipping aspect. And that's where we get fondue. Fondue is from the ballet dipping in. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to dip in. See how you dip that in? And you just kind of twirl the sides. And that will be ready for a beautiful bite. I won't do that in front of the camera because uh, I can be a mess. Um, also, we take our skewer here. Now, where's the chocolate? I had the chocolate in the skillet. And it's, where does the chocolate go? Well, look at where the chocolate ended up. Bada bing, bada boom. Yes, it's right there. So you would, again, take your poker stick. And you would poke your strawberry. And you'd put your strawberry into your chocolate like so oh my goodness and then that's going to slip off there a little bit i don't want to get too messy but you get the idea that will literally melt in your mouth and uh, dip in your chocolate that uh, chocolate can be very messy and this is a kind of a messy rendition but hide your chocolate sauce in your pineapple that's that's a good one when you come out and believe it or not what's that sitting on it's sitting on a half a watermelon everybody gets a plate of that and uh Again, it's that wow effect. It's like, wow, everything here is edible. Literally somebody, uh, I've seen this before, when they're done with their fondues, they literally take it off and they start eating their watermelon. I mean, everything to the core. So again, this is a presentation. You can also, I've hollowed out um, some baguette here. You can also take your, uh, your dip and actually put it into a crouton that can be uh, pastry brushed with a little pesto butter. Uh, and you can eat, eat it this way and walk around and, and talk to you know your family or whoever eating your your um, your dip this way your uh, artichoke dip this way so there's several or two different ways you can have that you can dip it in as a fondue rendition or you can you can actually uh, serve it that way it's, it's absolutely amazing how food can be presented chocolate dipped strawberries in the pineapple or the uh, the artichoke and again this artichoke is a raw artichoke uh, it will hold together extremely well we kept that in cold water overnight but bottom line is that's just a beautiful presentation it, it goes back into where it was and this is amazingly this this flavor of the artichoke Awesome. The flavor of the chocolate melted with the, cogn uh, the uh, cognac and the orange liqueur and the heavy cream to die for. Um, thank you. Thank you so much. And, and that's what it's all about. Presentation and the wow. I got another $100 to give away and then we're going to end this show. This show just continues on. Uh, we're going to be at 28 minutes. We try to keep it under 30. Let's go. Uh, I just want to. Oh, hey, this is an interesting trivia. Let me let me. And I learned this this week. Artichokes. That's what we have here today. Artichoke dip, right? Artichoke fondue. They are grown in one state only. Believe it or not, 100 percent of the artichokes grown in the world. Well, I shouldn't say the world. Let's say United States because uh, France is very big on artichokes. There's one state in the continental United States that grows artichokes 100 percent. There's one state. It's California. Isn't that amazing? I, I didn't know that. California is the only one that produces artichokes. 100% uh, of the entire market comes from California. Uh, they are scarce, and I, I understand they take three years to mature into a size of edib edib edibility. So, interesting fact. All right, um, let's go here. What kind of uh, what kind of cheese today? Let's make it simple. We'll end up on another cheese uh, question here. What kind of cheese was used in the fondue today? Fondue. It's got them little holes in it, you know what I mean? First person who gets that right. I don't care about slow internet. I just need a correct answer, okay? Okay. What kind of cheese was used in the fondue dip today to melt down? It's a white cheese. I think I might have done it twice. I don't know. Did I use that twice? I might have. Maybe I give 200 bucks for this one. I don't know. Give me that answer. What kind of cheese was used in the fondue dip today? Again, this show is not possible without your participation. Tell a friend, share it with everybody. We want it to grow because the more it grows, the more I'm going to give. And so, you get that concept? Swiss. Swiss is correct. That is correct. There's a lot Roxanne. of different white cheeses. Who, who won that one? Roxanne T. Roxanne T. You know, Roxanne T is a winner on this show. She has won uh, more, I think, than anybody, or maybe right there. We're gonna, as a matter of fact, we'll have a contest to see who actually won. I hope Emily's here today. Uh, uh, we got the gender, we got the name. All we need to do now is pick a date. Uh, by the way, I've got the uh, uh, Recovering Addict shirt. That is, God, I'm trying to think of you know, that was for. Um, I don't remember who that was for. Actually, it was uh, Patrice. 
right? Yeah, Patrice Wasp actually gave us uh, the clue. Keep that shirt on the wall. I'll do that from now on. Gigi, if you're watching, you got to win sometime, girlfriend. Gigi, you come in to make a car payment, you got to win 100 bucks. I'm going to end it on this. Everybody needs to win 100 bucks. And by the time this show is over, I believe everybody will have 100 bucks as a winning on this show. Thank you, everybody. Amanda, you're, you're, you're beautiful. Thank you for your emails. Everybody, uh, I don't know if the, uh, the Hatter House is in the house today from, uh, I think it's Clovis, Cal uh, New Mexico. Uh, you're all beautiful. Beautiful people. I love you. I'll look forward to seeing you next week. Week, one week away from the big spin for the Jeep. Don't miss it. I want you to be here. I'll see you next week.